Hi there and welcome to this video series where I will be searching for the best trading strategy for cryptocurrency trading. In each video I am going to test a strategy that is explained in a YouTube strategy video, trading site or is publicly available for use. Each strategy will be tested on its performance by trading multiple digital asset pairs over their largest possible backtest period. The results of this strategy test is then compared with the results of earlier tested strategies. As you can see from this slide, I am going to investigate the Golden Cross Death Cross strategy and see if this strategy is profitable or not. So watch to the end of this video to see how this strategy performs in comparison with other investigated strategies. And before I proceed, I want to ask you to please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. To compare these strategies with some sort of rigorous testing, I will use the same circumstances every time. Here you can see my principles for testing the strategies in this series. Some choices are arbitrary, like the amount of open trades or the compounding of stake amounts. But testing between multiple strategies have to have some baseline to compare their performances on. The whole idea behind this setup is that the strategy should be tested under mechanical circumstances. No further human interaction should be necessary. In this way I am taking all of the emotions out of trading and hope to find out the raw performance of the proposed strategy. Testing out if a strategy is performing under mechanical circumstances also has the benefit that you can code the strategy for use with a trading bot. Trading with a bot has the additional benefit that you are always ready for a trading opportunity. Crypto trading is a 24-7 365 business and it's simply not possible to act on each and every trading signal as a human being. Another reason is that this way you can also backtest your strategy in a mechanical way. This takes the grinding out of the process and it also will give you good indication on the strategy's performance when using it on more than one asset pair and more than one time frame. Every time I will test a strategy I will follow the next approach. I will test the strategy on multiple time frames, even when it's advised to use it on one time frame. Then I will choose the time frame with the best results for further analysis. Next I will optimize the best results one more time with hyperparameter optimization. This is a special Python based sequential optimization function that can help find the optimal parameter settings for an indicator. Then I will backtest one more time with optimized parameters to see if I get a better performance or not. To see what caused differences in the performance of the strategy after the hyperop session, I will check their performances on what happened. And finally I take the best results and compare them with other strategies which I have tested earlier. This way I hope to find the best strategy for cryptocurrency trading with the training bot. Now let's proceed with the strategy. As said in the introduction, this time I will be investigating a very famous trading strategy and that is the Golden Cross Death Cross strategy. This strategy uses the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. If the 50 day simple moving average crosses above the 200 day simple moving average, this is considered a Golden Cross also known as a bull market. And when the 50 crosses below the 200, then it's considered a death cross and known as a bear market. This is a very simple strategy and I'm going to test if this strategy is also good for trading crypto pairs with the help of a trading bot. Besides the entry and exit signals of the strategy based on the indicators, there are also stop loss and take profit points that can be used. These stop loss and take profit levels are later determined by the high prop functionality of the bot and are percentage based exit levels. In simple pseudocode the strategy looks like this. This code should be programmed into easy to understand Python code which is also compatible with the training bot. Because I will use Fractrate as my tool for backtesting data, my code will be based on this software. However, because it's Python code as I said, it should be easy to understand. I will leave this code on my website so that you can use this code as well for your own backtesting and strategy building. The link is in the description below. Now let's begin with backtesting the strategy on multiple time frames and see which time frame provides the best results. After backtesting and writing down all the backtest information in the sheet I have the following results. With the 50-200 crossover strategy it seems that the 4 hour, 1 hour and 30 minutes time frame performed way better than the golden and death cross on the well known daily time frame. 
you can see that the hourly time frame has the best results overall with a whopping profit of more than 6800%. After testing, what I find remarkable is the differences in performance between the multiple timeframes. These charts show why there is so much difference between the daily and hourly timeframe. By lowering the timeframe, the profit curve looks much more smooth and probably trading with this strategy will take you much more close to the curve of the overall market performance. Also I think that this timeframe has more possibilities to react on the parabolic curves of some assets and the daily timeframe reacts much more slowly. Because of this slower reaction to bull and bear trends, the drawdown moments also occur to be later and longer. Now let's see if this performance can be improved by finding better take profit and stop loss levels and maybe even better crossover SMAs. To find this out, I will be using the hyperparameter optimization functionality of the bot. After the hyperopt session, the bot recommended to use the following settings for the strategy. Change the 50 SMA to 53 SMA and change 200 SMA to 201 SMA. Also ROI, that's take profit and stop loss levels are added. However, the percentage gain dropped from 6852% to only 268% and that's 18 times less profit. But then again, the win rate of the lesser profitable setting is much much better than the original setting. I believe that this is caused by these take profit points. At some time the bot exits the position with a winning trade. And because it's not riding out the trend, this prevents huge gains which you can see with the original trading strategy. But the risk of ruin gets to very good levels with these lesser profitable settings. So this changes the strategy from a high risk to a reasonably low risk strategy. You can also see this in the charts. Comparing the original hourly profit chart with the hyper opted profit chart, you can clearly see that the hyper opt chart is much more smooth. And also the drawdown period is not the same as the originally hourly profit chart. So therefore I think that because of these take profit points, the chart is much more smooth and less risky than just using the death cross for your exit signal. In this case it's a trade off between your risk appetite and the urge to attain huge trading profits. Now I also tried to do a backtest without the proposed hyperopt ROI and stop loss settings but only with the SMA53 and SMA201. These small adjustments provided even more gains but also with the additional risk involved. The proposed setting 53201 SMA increased the percentage gain over 7400%. I also did another hyperopt session which is not shown in this video. This session proposed a setting of 53 SMA in combination with the 203 SMA. And backtesting these provided even a percentage gain of 8200%. But in all cases the win rate stayed around original 36%. So again, this is a choice between nice gains and a better win rate with low risk. So the conclusions of my analysis of this strategy are, the best time frame for the golden cross dead cross strategy is the 1 hour time frame. Adjusting the SMAs to 53 and 201 improved performance by 8%. And with a 53-203 SMA pair it increased by 20%. But not much additional risks are added with this better performance. So I therefore will use the 53-203 SMA combination for further comparisons. If you started with $1000 a couple of years ago with these indicators, you could now have potentially slightly under $84,000. That's a profit of more than 8200%. However, you risk a drawdown from the highest profit point of around 548% and have a risk of ruin of 126%. The point where drawdown starts is dependent on the market circumstances and is very unpredictable. You should be very aware of this when trading with a bot. If you do not like these risks, then you take profit and stop loss points. The points that were given by the high propped engine caused the amount of winning trades to increase from 36% to 62%. However, you lose the chance of getting huge profits with a relatively small amount of money and have moderate gains. So, after I have entered both results in my overall strategy comparison, I get the following. The end result is that this strategy is more profitable than the earlier tested SMA MACD crossover strategy. The low risk option of this strategy has a higher end score. That's primarily because it has a much higher winning rate than the more risky version. So all in all, this strategy looks like it's profitable for trading with digital assets. Before you decide to trade with this strategy, please do your own research and backtest according to your own methodology to be sure that this trading strategy is for you. 
And with this result, I am at the end of this video. If you like the contents and you think it was worth your time, then please click the like button and let me know in the comment section. Also, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get updated on new content. And I see you in the next video. Goodbye.